Alan Seals with First Alert Weather. Well, this is Tropical Depression number nine. That's the one right now that is in the Gulf of Mexico. But what you need to see is there are two other systems. And this will confuse people simply because they all sound the same. Tropical Depression number eight. As much as we've been watching the tropical wave that moved north of Cuba through the Bahamas, folks in the Carolinas are doing the exact same thing with Tropical Depression number eight, which is moving toward them. While Gaston, a hurricane, a category three, which makes it a major hurricane that will stay out in the Atlantic Ocean. So, of course, number nine is the one we're watching. Tropical Depression number nine, which at any point could become a tropical storm. We found out about it this afternoon when the hurricane hunters flew out of Keesler Air Force Base down to the Florida Keys and they located just enough of a circulation to find a steady wind of about 35 miles an hour. At least that's what it is right now. It's moving westward at nine miles an hour. There you see the coordinates. 23.4 north, 82.7 west. You could also see the forecast cone on your free News 5 weather app and on our webpage, wkrg.com. Now let's go through the forecast cone. 40 mile an hour winds by tomorrow evening. That would make it a minimal tropical storm. The next name on the list would start with H, Hermine. But if number eight becomes this tropical storm first, that would be Hermine. This would become Ian. So the name is not yet known, but here's what we know. The forecast cone will take it to the middle of the Gulf by Tuesday as a minimal or moderate tropical storm. Between Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to take a curve. It should take a curve if the upper level winds catch it fast enough, sending it back toward the Florida Peninsula. Notice right now we are not on the cone, but also remember the cone doesn't tell you where the whole storm will be. It tells you where the center of the storm will be. So in the ideal world, the center would run right through the middle of the cone, but we know from past experience, the center could go on the right side, the left side, or outside of the cone. Here's what we have right now. All is calm across the News 5 area. Our Alpha Skycam shows twinkling stars, 76 degrees here at News 5, a light north wind. So tomorrow, Tuesday, you're not going to notice anything that potentially is in the Gulf. The rip currents will pick up. The surf will pick up at the beaches. And here's the forecast trap, uh, track looking at the multiple computer models we showed you all last week. Notice they all pretty much do the same thing, and I know the ones on the left side catch your eye. But when you make the forecast, you can't just pick one and say, that's my favorite. There's a lot of science that goes into it. You take each point in the future, figure out where it's likely to be, and you draw a circle. Now, the farther out you go, the bigger the circle will be. So notice how it's basically covering all those spaghetti plots, the spaghetti models. Well, you're kind of averaging them all together. That's not the only way to forecast, but once you draw those circles, if you connect the edges of the circle, you get the forecast cone. So that's what the cone means. You take your projection, it gets less certain in the future, so it gets bigger. And the other thing to notice today, it's pretty obvious, most of Florida potentially is in that cone. But in about two days, when the cone goes east, they're going to be in the skinny part of the cone. And that's what always happens, and that's what you would expect with the forecast cone. So here's another computer projection. We get a northeast wind by tomorrow afternoon. There's your circulation, likely a tropical storm in the central Gulf. Same story for us on Tuesday. It stays there. We are here. And then between Tuesday and Wednesday, central Florida and north Florida have to look out for the threat of rain. It's more likely to be a big rain deal than a big wind deal. For us, it may not be a big deal at all. 20% covers the next couple of days, 30% midweek. All of this will change slightly. Keep up with the forecast. And I'll have a little more a little later. No, again, there are actually three systems out there. Tropical depression number eight is bothering the Carolinas. Gaston isn't bothering anyone. And look at all three forecast cones. You notice how the two depressions first go west and then they curve to the east. And that's going to be the thing that still worries a bunch of people here. Now, we've seen this before. This TD number nine, Tropical Depression nine, will likely become a tropical storm in the middle of the week. And at some point, it'll make a hook. And our News 5 area is not in the forecast cone right now. But that cone could change day by day. The main message right now, Central Florida, North Florida, they're looking out for the threat of very heavy rain. We are looking really the only threat in the near term, rip currents and dangerous surf. All right, good to know. Thanks so much, Alan.